Hey guys and welcome back to Dynasty Warriors 8. So we are doing the Little Conqueror in Peril and I'm going to be using Jotai for this one. So he has the curved swords which I believe I've used before but whatever. So yeah, I, this isn't actually a special uh, curved sword here, it's just a regular one. Kind of weird but alright. So I've already got these skills on here and we're ready to go. This guy does not talk much, if you hadn't already noticed. But you know, he's fairly cool, so yeah. <sighs> Got away. No meat for us tonight, Joe Yu. Huh? Jo Yu? Hey, Chuan! Jo Tai! Where have they gone to? Soon, sir. Huh? You have taken Wu Jun and call yourself the Little Conqueror? Shu Gong? And. Who are you? Look back on the path you have walked, one twisted by power. The cries of hatred and flames of anger shall now become a vortex. Suck down into it. You shall meet your end here. Hey, what are you talking about? Hmm. <laughs> You are you Shu Gong's men? Brother! Forgive us. We got held up by some sort of sorcery. Yeah, same thing happened to me. I'm not sure what's going on, but for now we just need to get out of here. There is something eerie about this fog. Alright, so we are in. And there is actually a bonus objective in this uh, this map, but we won't be able to unlock it till a bit later on. But yeah, this is his move set here, and I can actually do his move. All right, I used his move set by accident. So that was the regular missile right there. Let's see if I can get the air one going here. They're, they're, they're all pretty good, honestly. Do, do I actually have the last one unlocked? No, I do not. Okay. Also, yes, invisible people, once again. But, uh, yeah, we just need to go one of these sections and... Alright, I got him the first, uh, the first uh, one. So he hit me with something. So, yeah, I haven't played in a while and, you know, I just started Wu's story, basically. So yeah, I haven't really got into the rhythm of doing this stuff again, but yeah, eventually I'll, I'll get this game done. I've been playing other games, you know. But, you know, eventually I'll get this done. I don't like to play it, like, rapidly because I'll just burn myself out on this game. But, you know, maybe I'll get to the point where I can actually get some of the fifth weapons. I don't expect to, like, play through chaos or anything like that. I don't really think it's worth my time, but, yeah. Alright, where are we going? Sorry, I haven't really been paying attention that much. So, yes, there is an optional objective in this, uh, this scenario, but I don't think we get to it till a bit later on. Now, am I supposed to get rid of these arrows, I think? There we go. Yeah. Okay, so I just need to get this guy here, and then we can move on. 
So, what's the other thing I have? It's, uh, oh yeah, it's these. Which, honestly, isn't a very great weapon. But, whatever. Alright, so we gotta go all the way around, head to that place. I think there's another cutscene after that. And then we can probably start moving to the optional objective of this map here. Alright. So yeah, you can't actually go around the other way, you have to go round the long way, of course. Nothing but chaos to Jiangdong. The entire land even. That is why I am here to put an end to that. Alright, so I think we might yeah, it looks like we need to take this guy out first. And there we go. You plan on killing me, do you? Very well. But I'll take you with me. You will walk the path of the Conqueror and clash with Lord Cao Cao. Don't you see? The more men of your caliber step forward, the worse this chaos will become. Shut your mouth! All I have to do is defeat them all! You fool. Ganji. I leave the rest to you. Very well. Your revulsion for this time of war is perfectly clear to me. <sighs> now die, dogs of chaos. Alright, so that guy there, I believe he used to be referred to as, and I'm getting hit here, uh, Yanji, not uh, Ganji. At least I think his name used to be that because I remember him, that character, being called that. So, to get the optional objective here, I believe I need to take out Zhao Dun and then take out Ganji. Or at least I think that's what we need to do. So, to actually get to Zhao Dun, I've got to kill Siren here. So uh, we'll take him out quickly and then try and get this as quickly as we can because I think there might be a bit of a time limit on this. Because, you know, obviously they ran off on their own and you can't let them die, of course. Fucking AI. <laughs> Okay, so we also have Zhou Yuan. I might need to take him out as well. Looks like I do. Okay, so no, I can't actually take out Zhou Dun now. I'm gonna do that right now because I think I, it might affect it. It probably won't, but I'll do it first anyway. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting on it. Plus, I'll give me more time to get back over to that guy. Okay. Alright, and that's all it takes, really. This uh, this weapon's pretty good. Okay. Okay, so, yeah. Okay, he actually appears up there, alright. So I need to take out this guy as well. And this will basically go to a side story, you know, a, a bonus chapter. So I figured I may as well do it because, you know, I could. And I don't want to go around this a second time. So this is one of the only guys that uses the uh, throwing knives as his weapon. Throwing knives? Sorry, throwing knives are used all the time. The cards, the mystic cards, I should have said. Okay. 
So that's all we needed to do, I think. And I'm assuming that the next battle is going to be against him again. And th I think there is also another optional objective on that map as well, so yeah. So this guy's been waiting patiently here. I need to get into the habit of actually calling them soon, not son, because I've been doing that for years. Okay. So I need to take out the three officers here and pretty much just make it to the escape point. It's not that difficult at this point. Not that it was really difficult to begin with, but you know. Whatever. Alright, that's one. And I am playing on normal, by the way. I think this guy is just fucking badass, I don't know. It would make sense to me, you know. Okay, there's two of them here. And I do it twice. Alright. Well, I didn't actually mean to do that, but that's fine. Whatever. I'll take it. Okay, so it should be just this guy here. I like how my AI has basically achieved nothing. What are you talking about, man? You're not even getting attacked right now. Jesus. My AI is so terrible. And I'm getting hit. Alright. Seriously, that AI. I'm just gonna completely destroy this guy here. Don't even care about a disadvantage that I have. Okay, so that's gonna open the gates down here. And eventually we're gonna meet up before the escape point. As you can see, they're running all the way over to the east there. And I'm assuming these are illusions, though I don't honestly know. Because, you know, if, when we're beside the fucking mystic guys, usually that shit happens. Alright, once again, I'm taking out Lee Dian. I mean, Lee Dian and... What is it? You... I forget fucking forget his name. Guy with hook swords. They always appear. Every single time. Especially for Shu. But then again, Shu is fighting away for most of the time, so it makes sense. Oh, you know what that means, right? I'm... You're like full health, man. Oh, you just took some health. <laughs> you took some damage right there. I saw it. Magical damage. Alright, let's take out this guy and then uh, we pretty much have a straight run, so he shouldn't die. On the way to the exit, really, so, yeah. Let's get that. Bamboo brush. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so now we're just escorting this guy over to the exit. We're gonna come across this guy. Alright. We're gonna come across a few more officers at least, so, yeah. I don't think that many more, though. And then we should be able to go to that side mission after that. How did he lose so much health? Just walking. Can you not walk in a straight line? Alright, let's get this going. Unfortunately, I can't get in there with the... Uh, oh no, I did damage that guy over there. There you are. Alright, there should be a couple more inside though. Get up. Okay. Alright, that actually opened the gate there. So I should be able to just take out the guys in here. And that should pretty much be it. There isn't actually any officers in here by the looks of things. So, yeah. Did I just go into Musso there and exit it immediately? I don't even know how it did that. Alright. That should do it. Alright.
Okay. We made it out of there somehow. Still. I can't believe that Xu Gong was in league with Cao Cao. He claimed our lord was walking the path of a conqueror. Ridiculous. Trying to sell out my brother. And even hiring some pathetic conjurer of tricks. It was Ganji. Wasn't it? Sun Tzu! I wouldn't call them tricks exactly. Chuan! Father entrusted our family's legacy to me. Now, it's my turn to entrust it to you. What are you talking about, brother? It's all yours now. So yeah, once again, you know what, w wounds are just bad in this game, like you immediately die from them after. You manage to make it through though, you just die straight after. <laughs> That's pretty much the main thing. But uh, yeah, so he is injured and I don't know where the next, I think the next map is just uh, going to take on Ganji. It's probably pretty straightforward. But uh, there is a way that you can actually save Sun Tzu, but I'm not going to do that. Once again, Sun Tzu will die historically at this point, so yeah. And apparently it was just that they were in league with Wei. I wasn't very sure, but yeah. But yeah, I think it was something like it was rumored this guy killed him somehow as a sorcerer. That's why he has like the magic cards and kind of has mystic, I don't know, mystic look or whatever. So yeah, there's one of the characters here that is only playable in this chapter. I'll let you guess who it is. <sighs> yeah. Well, I don't like all the characters in Wu, so uh, yeah, I, I don't even know why, how the, the hair works, I don't know. And yes, this map is just called Defeat Ganji. So her weapon is a pugil stick, which I actually have. I actually have a special one of these. No, I don't want to discard it. I've got it for a reason, you know. Clearly. All right, so I'm gonna take on this next one as this character here. And yes, there is another character who's her sister, if I recall. But uh, yeah, I didn't say I liked all the characters in Wu, just overall I liked Wu the best out of the three, but yeah, you know, you win some, you lose some. Also this guy, I could use him, but uh, I will skip over him for this. So I'll see you guys next time on Dynasty Warriors 8.